Hey y'all, what's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? I, 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 Hey y'all, how y'all doing today? Hey all my foodie boos and my foodie dudes. So glad to have you guys here with me on another See what Reed does cooking. It's been a journey, okay? But the devil is defeated and God is still in control. Yay! Thank you for every, all of your prayers, all of your love and your support while I had to deal with what was going on with my daughter. I appreciate you guys so, so much. She's getting better. We are home. And now it's time to cook. Now it's time to cook. But before I get started, let's get some somatics, some rules, and stuff out the way. I don't care if that ain't the name of it. I don't care if that ain't how you cook it. This is what I do. And this is see what Reek does cooking. I don't care. If you don't like it, you don't have to tell me. Ugh. I don't know why y'all think I gotta know your thoughts. I don't need to know your thoughts. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Even if you don't like it, make you watch and give it a thumbs up, okay? Make sure you click that notification bell so you'll know when I do my videos and you'll be ready to come on over here and see where Rita's cooking. You can go on and get your ingredients before you leave your job or your hustle or your side thing or whatever. You go on and get you some uh, ingredients. Come on, make you a good old meal. Make sure you come in. Like, share, all that good stuff, okay? So that's it. Now today, you guys, I'm going to be making my, let me see. Y'all know I be making it up on the go. Stuff, sh shrimp. Okay, no, here we go, here we go. Take two. Shrimp stuffed baked potatoes, okay? Yay! Cue the applause, cue the applause. So I'm going to be doing, I did some things off camera, but I'm going to be doing some more stuff off camera, but I do want to show you guys um, uh, how I get everything started um, and what I do beforehand and things of that nature. So we have loved on each other. I miss you guys. When I'm not on here, I miss you guys. Um, and, I, and I appreciate uh, the love and the support from the ones, I, I, that's 90% here. So I'm grateful and I'm thankful and I love you guys and I hope you feel the love coming through this screen that I have for y'all. <laughs> Let's get started. Let's do these shrimp stuff baked potatoes hunty you're gonna love it you're gonna love it you're gonna be doing it the next thing you know you're gonna be making you some so we're gonna come down 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 baby down by ah damn damn okay we're gonna get on the food now one thing that i have already hold on now i'm still talking to y'all one thing that i have already done you guys i have already now, uh, y'all know me and my hot hands. I love to burn my hands. One thing I've done, I've already baked my potatoes. Look at this big, beautiful thing right here. Now, for this recipe, you guys, you need you a sturdy baked potato. Get the ones that say bake for baking potatoes. Get you an Idaho or a russet potato. So I've already cleaned these really, really good. And then I took me some oil and I slathered it over there. And I took me some of this kosher salt. Girl, I remember the name. Like you told me that kosher salt. I took me some kosher salt and I just mashed it into there. So you can kind of see that, right? So these are my big, large baked potatoes, you guys. And they need to be big and they need to be sturdy. You see how big and beautiful they are? They need to be like that because you're going to be stuffing them. But not only are you going to be stuffing them, you got to get that filling out of them. And in order to do that, you need a sturdy baked potato with a hug that will let you do what you need to do. So I'm going to do one potato so you guys can see it. And then uh, we're gonna move on. Another thing that I do while my potatoes are in the oven for that hour, now these were really big. So I left them in, an hour, in about an hour and 40 minutes because 
once I restuff them, I don't want that shrimp and stuff to end up in the oven a whole lot of time. I just want that shrimp and that cheese and stuff to marry and, and get acquainted with each other and me pull them right on out. Get a little browning on the top and stuff like that. So I have me some shrimp right here, you guys. See right there? That I have diced up, okay? That's about a pound, a good bag of, I used extra large. So that's all of that shrimp in that bag and about a half another bag because, you know, I wanted to have a lot of shrimp. One bag would do if you're using about six large baked potatoes, okay? So that'll be personal to you. Now, what I did do is I took out two whole uh, shrimp per potato. You can do one or two. This is just me being extra. Y'all know how I am. But I took me out two and I left them whole. And I'm going to be putting these on the top. Now, those chopped ones are going to go into my mixture. And this whole one is going to go on the top for some presentation and some prettiness. Because y'all know, that's how I do. So, let's go on down here. And we're going to see what we're going to be doing to get these potatoes ready, okay? Love ya. Misha. Okay, let's go. So I got these big old giant potatoes as y'all can see. Now what I'm going to have to do, you're going to have to come down about a third of the way taking off the top of this potato, okay? You want to leave a boat so that you will be able to now shoot, I don't know if this is the, this the best knife for it. I think it is. But you want to leave like a boat so that when you take your stuff out, you take your potato flesh out, you'll still have your good boat that you can refill, okay? So you want it to have a side, some good side to it and some end to it, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your spoon and you're going to gently, now don't be, don't, don't, don't handle it rough now. Some like it rough. But don't handle this rough, okay? Honey, just out. I'm going to move this over some. Handle it with cuff. Getting this. You see that smoke coming out of there? I don't know why I always want to burn my hand when I'm playing with y'all. But you're going to take this flesh out of here. And you're going to take as much as you can. If you can empty it, empty it, okay? And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get me a glove, honey. But I'm going to empty this out into this bowl. Okay, you got to be, can y'all see? You got to be uh, gentle, y'all, because we're going to be restuffing this, okay? So you want to keep your shell intact, okay? And that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be getting it out, and you're going to be putting that goodness on the inside. So I'm going to get all of this out, and then when I come back, we won't have nothing but boats left, okay? And then I'm going to show you guys what we're going to do after that, okay? Be right back. Okay, you guys, so I'm back, and I have my potatoes all hollowed out. And for the most part, they stayed, you know, intact. Now, I did have this one over where? Here. Tried to come loose a little bit, and then this one tried to come loose a little, you know, tried to come loose a little bit. So what I'm going to do is when I stack this, I'm going to put it with a partner. See that? Right next to each other so that I can fill it without it splitting. Do that make sense? Just put it next to another one so that when I put those fillings in there, it won't, you know, open up. So let's show you what I'm going to do now. Make sure that when you take those tops off of there, that you go, you go ahead on and you get your potato out of there as well, okay? We're not leaving no potato behind, okay? So what we're going to add to this, you guys, is like a half a stick of butter. Now remember, I'm doing six large baked potatoes. And this is pretty much a preference as well. It's going to be come down to how you want that filling to taste and things of that nature. So I'm going to put my butter in here. I'm going to put at least a cup of sour cream in here, right? Well, Y'all at a good place. Hold on. Right? Okay. At least a cup. Eight ounces, right? You get everything in here, you taste it. And you guys, I think this is what I'm going to call it. Shrimp stuffed twice baked potatoes. Because you do bake them first, right? And then you take them out and then you do this other part. 
The spoon is hideous. Okay, then I'm gonna put my shrimp. No, I'm not gonna put my shrimp in there yet. I'm gonna put my green onions in here. This is about for a fourth of a cup of green onions right here. Just gonna put this in here, right? Now, some people, I've, I've seen this, I read recipes where they um, take this mixture and they blend it with a mixer, an electric mix mixer. I don't want mine to be that smooth, so I'm just going to take my regular old smegler masher, and that's how I'm going to do it. Before you add your shrimp, you guys, and fold in your shrimp, make sure you get this, the texture and the flavor that you want it, okay? Make sure you get that first before you start folding in your shrimp, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. My seasonings are going to be pretty basic. I'm just going to use some salt and some pepper, some garlic powder, and some onion powder. Because my shrimp are pretty seasoned, I use the salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. I use a little bit of chipotle chili pepper, and I use some blackening seasoning. That's what I use for mine. Now, you guys, you can season your shrimp, shrimp <laughs> however you want to. You're just going to be doing a little, a very basic little pan sear on your shrimp okay so once you get these potatoes all seasoned up and delicious like you want them then you'll add your uh, shrimp because you just want to fold that shrimp in you don't want to mash it like you're doing this the shrimp is the star of this one so you just want to make sure that they are singing out loud and on display okay we're going to be topping this you guys with just some um cheese and some, uh, you know, y'all, I, I, I didn't even have to, but I made, I, I fried me up a little bacon, Jesus. Because y'all know how I am by bacon. I fried me up a little bacon. Because why not? I love bacon. Okay. Now, if you want to mix this, you guys, feel free to use your standing mixer and mix this. But I just don't think it's that serious. Are that necessary okay I like a little body to my baked potato I don't want it to be like mashed potatoes I just want it to you know how that little those little lumps in there stuff like that it's good to me like that but you use your own best judgment on how you want to do that okay you see I got a little hull in there that's okay I like to eat the shell and the hull and all of that when I eat mine anyway honey I don't leave much of nothing on that plate I eat it all that's that butter I think I took that butter out too late, so it didn't uh, get room temperature, but you know, it's gonna end up melting anyway, so. Let me show you what else I'm gonna be doing to this little mixture, okay? All right, let's put that down. Y'all know how I am. I'm trying not to be that, be that person that's just doing them, doing them out. <laughs> You're doing too much, sis. Let's get it together. Okay, I'm gonna get me a spoon. I'm gonna taste this. And you got it with potatoes, honey. You got to go on down off in now. On down off in now. Get all of that. You want all of that flavor in every corner and so that every potato has that flavor, right? Let's taste it. Mm-hmm. So good. All right. Now we're gonna fold in our shrimp, okay? Like I said, this is, this is a pound, at least a pound of shrimp. They were extra large, so I cut those down, chopped them up. I'm just gonna fold them in here. We don't want no uh, whole pieces of shrimp just hanging out. We wanna see potato on each one of these little chopped pieces of shrimp, right? So we just wanna fold it in. Fold it in, go down to the bottom, go down there. Get down in there, okay? Don't be shy. Just get those, you see some blank spaces without nothing in them? Fold in, okay? Then I'm gonna fold in also me some shredded cheese. Now I'm gonna use my triple 
cheddar on the inside and I'm gonna top my potatoes with my sharp cheddar, sharp cheddar and my whole pieces of shrimp. So I'm gonna put about a cup in here, you guys. Just eyeballing that. Cause I'm gonna be putting some on the top. This was a what? This is an eight ounce bag, so I didn't even put a cup, a whole cup in here. So I can put a little bit more, about a half a cup, okay? On the inside. You know how I am about cheese and bacon, so, you know, just depends. I get the folding and looking at it, you know, I could always come back and add something. How's it looking to you so far? What you thinking? What is your mind saying to you? That this gonna be good? Cause your mind is right, it's gonna be good, baby. It's going to be good. So it's going to get it all stirred up in there. I don't want to see no big old, see that big old hunk of cheese just hanging out like it's in here by itself? No. We want everybody to be loving on each other and mixing together, okay? Y'all know me and these arthritic arms, but I'm getting it done today, ain't I? <laughs> I'm getting it done today. I hope this video finds you guys in good health. Having a good day. You know when you'll get it, but I hope you're having a good day. No bad news today. Okay? So there's our mixture, you guys. There is our mixture. Now I'm gonna get me another spoon and I'm going to start spooning these into our potatoes. Now what you wanna do is you want to stuff these suckers to the top and a little bit over the top. So let me move some of this stuff. I'll be right back. We're going to stuff. Okay, you guys. So I have my little mixture all mixed up the way I want it. I went ahead on, you guys, and added the rest of that cheese because it was just a cup, okay? So I went ahead on and added the rest of that. Now we're going to just fill these up to the top with this filling. You want to almost overstuff them. You want it to go up. Give you some good old, good big spots. Good, good, good. This is dinner. So fill them up. Fill these little boats up, okay? Just like this, just like that. This is why it's important that you be careful and have your whole boat intact, okay? Because you want to be able to overstuff them. Once you get all that good old flesh out, you want to stuff them right on back up with all that goodness, okay? Fill them up, fill them up, fill them up, fill them up. Front, top, back, overstuff them, okay? Too big old heap and start out with, you know? Then kind of eyeball it after that. You want to make sure everybody gets a good old, good old heaping. Because it's something about putting your butter and all that stuff and adding it to this. That makes your, your mixture. Because see, you see, I still got plenty of mixture, okay? So I'm going to turn this around so I can do these on this side, okay? I just want to stuff them all. And you know I got a couple of them that's torn, but that's okay. They all going to be delicious, honey. They all going to get the same feeling and the same loving, okay? We are equal opportunity potato stuffer, okay? Everybody going to get some. You going to get some. You going to get some. Everybody going to get some. So I'm going to go and fill them up. I'm not going to leave none of this filling. I'm just going to keep on filling until everybody got them a good old mountain of filling, okay? But it is important that you be careful and that you have those boats to fill back up, okay? That's the only thing I need you to make sure you do, that you keep it all, you keep that skin as intact as you, as you can. And it's going to take a good hearty potato, Idaho, a russet, some of them folks. Yukon will break down. The skin is too thin, um, and it, it it's a good buttery potato. But, uh -huh, what? Girl, get it out. It's a good buttery potato. Okay, no doubt, but um, it's uh, the skin wouldn't wouldn't do good uh, to for us taking this. Okay, so we're just gonna keep on stuffing until I don't have any more stuffing. 
And then we're going to move on to the next step after this. So ride with me just a few more minutes. Or you could go ahead on fast forward a minute or so. If you just can't stand me. I'm just taking to a lie. Girl. Oh, the way you stuffed it just made my stomach hurt. I couldn't watch it no longer. Child. You need some vitamin D. I done told you some of y'all need some vitamin D, honey. Calm your nerves. This ain't nothing to get upset about. This is food. This is a happy time. Who ain't happy about some food? I love me some food. Y'all see how much of a mound I'm making? This is what I want y'all to do. Stuff those suckers up, okay? Got a little bit more. I'm trying to use it all. Now, this will be good in a bowl, honey. Be quiet as it's kept. Just I'm gonna eat some potatoes tomorrow. Now, if I eat these potatoes today, I don't need no freaking potato tomorrow. You need to be through with the potatoes for the week, okay? Once we get through with this. But yeah, y'all see what I'm doing. I'm getting everybody a good old heaping heaping. All right. We almost there. We almost there. We almost there. We almost there. Look at that. It looks so good. Are y'all falling in love with these potatoes right now? Falling in love with these potatoes. Falling in love, yeah, with these potatoes. I make a song out of everything. It's a little issue. That's why I used to laugh so much about the... Uh, the Braxton show they used to come on because that's that's my family. That's how we act. Everything is a song. <laughs> Make a song out of everything. Now that, look at that, y'all. I can barely lift this up. <laughs> they came out of here, so they gotta go back in here. Period. On period. That's on period. Who looking? Who looking like they need a little? So you go down the road, see that? Gotta look down. Gotta look and see who looking a little shout, a little shout a little bit. There we go. All right, we got them all stuck. Now we ain't done, baby. We ain't done. Guess what? We're gonna put us uh, some more cheese on the top of here. Now on the top. <clears throat> I know y'all can hear that I done just slopped some of that in my mouth. On the top, who you just want to reserve one or two whole ones for the top, right? So I'm going to put me some cheese on the top. Just like this. Just a little handful. Just like this. It ain't like it ain't no cheese running through the veins, okay? You got cheese all through there. All up and through there. Right? So this is just for the top. This is just gonna make it cute when it come out, okay? She's gonna be so cute. She's gonna be ready to go to prom and stuff. She's gonna be looking like she got on her best Sunday best and stuff, okay? That's what make us wanna turn to it, right? The cuteness thereof, the beauty thereof. Just a little handful on each one. I'm gonna get all of that from off the sides and stuff like that. When I uh, get out of here. But right now, we're going to do that. Then we're going to come in. If you were just doing one shrimp, you put it right in the middle. Right? Can y'all see that? Just put it right in the middle. But I have two whole shrimps. I'm just going to stuff down in here. Just like this. Just like this. On each one, you guys. Just like that. Give it a little love. Just like this. On each one. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Woo woo woo. Look at the baby. Look at that shrimp baby. Baked potato baby. Oh, so cute. Okay. Get this one down here. Just like this. You have to make sure you leave a couple whole ones out just for this. This is just for the presentation of the end. The end result or whatever. Get all your little cheeses. Come back through. Get you some cheese. Make sure you put some more cheese on there. If you see some blank spots, you just want it to be pretty. Okay? What we're going to do, you guys, is we're going to put this in a 
in that same 350 degree oven that we cooked our potatoes in. We're gonna put these right back in there. We're not gonna top them or anything. We're gonna put them right back in the oven and give them about 15 to 20 minutes. All we want is this cheese to get bubbly and get pretty and um, brown up a little bit for some color. And then I'm gonna show you what I do at the end. And we're gonna be ready, it's gonna be done. So I'm just looking at this, see where you see that little trees? Some little spots with our cheese. Just do that, just like that. This cheese will be used up tonight. That's why I'm digging in here. They'll be using it up on the, you know, somebody will come in here, it's just a little bit left. And they'll still want the stuff on their potato, even though it's got everything in it. It's got sour cream, it's got everything in there. You really don't have to do anything to these once they come out. But go ahead on and get on down and eat them. So I'm going to put them in the oven. And when you see me next time, we'll be putting the bacon bits and the fresh um, green onion on there. And we'll be ready to taste it. Okay, you guys, here are the potatoes once they are removed from the oven. I want y'all to get closer than this, but mm, let me see. Can y'all see that? Look at that, that one I have put my uh, bacon bits on top of it. And all I did, you guys, was, uh, whoo, don't they look good? Okay, so all I did was uh, chop me up some bacon and took me some green onions you guys and i just put it on the top now i don't want to do that because everybody's not eating their potato right now and what i would prefer them to do is drop this down on top once their potato is hot so i did do it on this one because i'm probably about to eat it <laughs> yeah yes let's taste a little bit of it just to make sure it's not poisoned and make sure everybody, you know, gets a good, good uh, meal out of this. This is the probably, is this the one I want though? I guess I'll go on and get this one. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this uh, coming together with me and my foodie friends that I love so much. I ask that anybody that's praying and needing you, God, I ask that you would come through for them. God, I ask that you uh, bless the hands that prepared this meal, God. I ask that you let no harm come to me as I tear into this potato. God, um... The phone is ringing and it's so distracting, but I'm going to keep on praying anyway. God, I just love you and I just thank you for everything, including this delicious meal. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm sorry about that, you guys. My phone never rings. It hardly ever rings. I won't say it never rings. But, yeah. Let me see if I can pick Big Daddy up and see if y'all can see Big Daddy. Him, 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 Big Daddy over here. Let me see. What? Look. Look, 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 look. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. It's stuffed to stuffed heaven. And it is beautiful. And you just gonna get you some little. I want some of everything. I don't have to mess up my shrimp off the top just yet. But uh, go up in there and get you some of that. Make sure you're getting a little bit of everything. You don't, you shouldn't have to put anything on here, you guys, once you take it out of the oven. You got your sour cream, you got your butter, you got your shrimp, you got your bacon, you got everything. You shouldn't need anything additionally, okay? So, go ahead on and get a bite. Tell me what you think. Did you get a shrimp? I hope you did. I just want some shrimp in it. There you go. Let me taste it. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm-hmm. So freaking good, y'all. And it's stuffed. It's about to fall in on itself. Look at that. It's just heaven. Y'all know I love potatoes. I love everything. It's not a lot of food I don't like. I hope you'll make this, guys. I hope you'll make this. Uh, I know people be interested in my shirts. It's another one of my Amazon finds. Okay. This one says, somewhere, somewhere between Nook if you book, Nook if you book, and 
praise is what I do because praise is what <laughs> you know I'm in the middle okay so don't try me <laughs> pray for me don't play with me okay Mm. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. And don't forget your food ain't all the way live until it's been redetized. I'll see you guys on the next one when we see what Rita's cooking. Mwah. Love y'all. Bye.